Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are back, and evidently so is EA with this content. EA finally did it yesterday, guys. They dropped the Hero SBC, and what a price it is. It's making prices not only on SBC fodder on this market go up, but other areas of the market are even going up just because this SBC finally came out and people don't have to be worried about it dropping anymore. We're going to talk about why prices are going up and how they could go up further today as we maybe look to invest for a Monday market rise. If you're excited for the video, drop a thumbs up on it. Subscribe if you're new. Let's go over that content. Big day yesterday of content, starting off with one of two really good SBCs that were both dropped. The first being Declan Rice, medium high work rates, a very lengthy, physical, strong defender, defensive midfielder for most people in their teams. This is what they were looking for, right? You think about a prem defensive mid spot, you've got Tonali, you've got some other like cheaper options like Jolinton or Bruno Guimaraes, but this card, especially with the play styles, guys, I think he looks really, really good. Block, intercept, bruiser, press proven plus, which actually might come in very, very handy if you read the description. Keeps exceptionally close control of the ball while dribbling at jog speed and can shield the ball much more effectively with stronger opponents. He's also got the long ball pass. I know the pace isn't quite there. I know a three-star weak foot isn't the best. The agility and balance, he's going to be a bit more of a truck. But to be completely honest with you guys, if you need a CDM, a through-and-through -through center defensive mid who's going to stop the ball, make great tackles, and be physical with 93 stamina, those play styles, this card, I mean, you just throw an anchor on it or something, and he's going to be really, really good. And to be honest, with the way this promo team looks, at 128k with fodder prices going up for the 85 and the 86 rated squads that you need for this i feel like this card on the market would probably be a similar price i mean 100 150k maybe 200,000 coins with the way this team looks i think it wouldn't be out of question if we take this card and think about how much it would be on the market i think the value for this sbc is really really solid because it brings a nice card into a spot like i said prem cdm is a spot where there's not a ton of great players and this is one that you could put in your team probably for a while and use it for a couple of months because it does look that good in my opinion now i haven't watched any player reviews or anything like that but for the links that he has as well it's a really nice card so gg's ea for dropping that one a nice pace boost uh upgrade for him plus seven pace that was the most important part of the card but that wasn't even the best sbc that was dropped yesterday of course guys they finally did it. I'm actually going to open mine for you guys on this video. I'm using some of the fodder that I need to use in Hyunmin Sun. We're going to put into this max 87 base hero player pick for, or pe player pack first just because we're going to go for it, right? We have 30 days to get Sun done. We'll get the SBC done in due time. But 75,000 coins. Guys, you know what it is? It's just like last year for this max 87 base hero. It is coming in at a 76k price range and 83% upvoted. Guys, one thing I'll say, this is a big tip as we go on throughout this year. The cheaper kind of gamble SBC packs like this usually don't have the best pack weight, right? Let's be completely honest. I'm not expecting to get somebody massive here, but since the player pool has cards in it that a lot a lot of them are over like 50k, like there's only a handful of cards that are like 40,000 coins or below. Yeah, you've got Ole, Cahill, Crouch, you know, Kanu, but you've also got guys like Cool, Brolin, you've got Joe Cole that's in this one, Robbie Keane, Alawaren, a lot of really great cards in this. The first hero SBC of the year always seems to be a really good one just because they make it pretty cheap because they know people don't have a ton of fodder and they want you to have fun in this early stage of the game with packs like this. So without further ado, let's open my hero pack, see what we get. I do have Joe Cole already. Captivia. Is that Captivia? I will take that. I will take that abso-freaking-lutely, man. See, that's why this pack has potential. Now, Captivia is probably one of the more kind of awfully packed ones. Let's see. Did his price go up yesterday or not? It did. Okay, so he can't be that common. Yesterday, he went from 150 all the way to 170, where he is now 180,000 coins. He was a really, really good left back last year, and I used his World Cup card a ton. I'm actually really excited to take that pack pull. That's going boom straight into my team. And I have some perfect players to link up with him for La Liga. I really have to do Rodrigo now too. Wow. Okay. I will take that. But I feel like that's even... I wasn't watching a lot of like the polls from people that were opening these packs yesterday. But I feel like that is a, a little bit above average poll. It's not Ramirez or 
Yaya, or like, can you even pack Yaya? Yeah, you can pack Yaya from this. It's not even Ramirez or Yaya, but like, that's a solid pull. So I'm very happy for that. I don't think that's that crazy though. Like, yeah, Park Ji Sung. You have Juliet's in here. Even like Nakata for 87 rated is not bad. Lisa Razu, 88 rated. Just kidding. He can't be packed. Cordoba could have been in that pack as well. So, guys, this SBC, let's be completely honest. At this stage of the game, these cards are very, very good. This is one of the most worth it gamble packs of the year, and you just saw it happen. I want to know what you guys got down below in the comments. Let me know what you got. Of course, I'm sure a ton of you opened it, but that was that was good. Wow, I'm actually very, very happy with that. That was sick. Now, how did this impact the market? Because it did a lot of things to the market. Of course, since it was an 86 rated squad, guess what's gone up in price? You bet, you bet, you guessed it, right? 86 rated players. Parejo from, wow, he didn't go up that much. Yeah, he did 8.7K. That's a weird one because Parejo was not as cheap as some of the other cards were um, last night when I checked on this game. Okay, Little is 9.4K. Yeah, okay, here we go. 8.8. .8. Wow, she wasn't as cheap either. She went to 9.3K. I think a lot of people were investing in these 86s. I could have swore that on last night's video, we were looking at 86s for literally 8.5K. Maybe I'm not remembering correctly, but I'm pretty sure they were 8.5K. I might have recorded last night's video a bit early. I don't know. But a lot of these cards have gone up, and the 87s are going up as well. They're 15k a piece. Wow, 15 250 for 87s. Yesterday they started the day at 13 to 14k. You see that there was a bigger spike on the 87s because again, a lot of people are missing out on the higher rated fodder. I look at my club even. I've got 83s and 84s for days. Is the 86s and above that people don't have right now in the game, and you can tell because those are the prices that are going up the most. So that part of the market went up because this SBC. But also, as a part of that, we already looked, right, at one card, the one that I just packed, Captavia. But if you take a look at a lot of different hero cards on the market yesterday, this was a trend that you saw. You saw prices low right around the content drop, and then the SBC came out, and then they absolutely went bananas. Especially as a lot of people go and do this pack, or they see it get dropped, they know it's coming. Everybody's been waiting for like the past almost week, right? This pack code was put out last Wednesday, and it took them till Sunday to, re to release the pack. It was the, that waiting period where people didn't probably buy many hero cards for their team because they were just waiting for the pack, waiting to see what they would get. They bought the fodder, waiting for the pack. Now the pack finally comes out. They maybe don't get what they wanted. They've collected more coins from two different sets of rewards, rivals on Thursday, champs reward this weekend, and they go back out and they buy the one that they wanted that they didn't pack from the SBC pack. Look at Alawiran from 400,000 coins all the way to 470k. He's back down just a little bit now. But that is a common trend for all of the meta heroes. We spoke about this in yesterday's video. And even last week, we mentioned that the meta heroes that don't get packed a lot, even though they may be lower rated, the more expensive ones that people want to get that they really aren't going to get as often are going to go back up in price because people will go and buy them. And that is exactly what we saw for a lot of those more meta and popular hero players but it wasn't just the hero players guys i was just checking around the market and even looking at some of the cards guys i didn't buy a single card over the weekend to invest i was really away from the game and i didn't i didn't really do too much at all except for just monitor prices you know we were making the video last night and looking at stuff but i bought Lewandowski's on friday on stream for like three hundred eighty-nine thousand coins and yesterday i literally just kept checking his price like every couple hours and I would notice that this card, like after content, just kept going up. He hit a very, the highest point that I've seen him go to yet, like 460,000 coins, which where, this is where he is right now, 465. That is the highest Lewandowski has gone. Look at Luka Modric. I know some of you guys invested in this card last Friday when he was 220K. He is now up 100,000 coins. He's 314. And after yesterday's content drop, he just exploded a bunch more. So it wasn't just heroes that took off yesterday. It was a lot of people probably selling fodder from their investments. And like we saw over the weekend when some people were selling fodder investments when the Harry Kane, not the Harry Kane, the Hyunmin Sun came out. A lot of people invested in Harry Kane's. That was one of the cards that went up a lot. But the Hyunmin Sun SBC, the layout, and the Rodrigo, people were selling fodder on Friday, even on Saturday. So we saw prices go up as people sold their investments, got coins, went out and bought these meta cards. And you're seeing that even again inside of yesterday's market into today on Monday. Joao Pedro, 
310,000 coins. Usman Dembele, 840. He was 700k just a couple days ago. Klaus on a low tier kind of budget investment is going up. And it also goes back to some of the earlier Team of the Weeks and other promo cards as well. Holland was 1.8 on a Friday. He's 2.1. Saka is flying. Bruno's up 100,000 coins. Osman's up almost 100k as well. Diaz, DePaul, all of these Road to the Knockout live cards are absolutely exploding. Some of the Team of the Week cards are continuing to go up in price. Um, Odegaard was like 80k. He's now over 100 um, you know, Team of the Week 2, what cards in here are going up? Kane's starting to go back up some more now. Cancelo, Hyunmin Sun, Inform is rising. Guys, with the prices of fodder rising, it is not good if you go back and look on SBCs. Rodrigo's 433k from scratch right now. Hyunmin Sun's 850, right? And he was 700k on Friday. Just goes to show you how much fodder has gone up in price in these last couple of days. And honestly, guys, even some meta gold cards, I believe, started going up in price uh, after yesterday's content. If you take a look look at a couple of graphs, actually, let's look at Militao really quick. Pretty sure Militao's gold card yesterday, yeah, at content, he was 143 or just before, 143. After content was dropped with those SBCs that we had, he spiked all the way back up to 156. Pretty crazy um, that an SBC like that hero pack comes out, but the market goes up. And what we kind of talked about with the fodder sales and with so many people were just waiting for that SBC to come out. Since it finally did, people felt like free and released to go back out to the market and buy some cards. And I think that's why you saw prices do what they did. Now, really quickly, we forgot to talk about this as a part of yesterday's content. We got three, or sorry, four actually new um, Trailblazers cards and packs, the most important of which, and probably the most hyped, is this Mitoma. And it's not a bad upgrade from his inform, if I'm being completely honest. It's a plus two. He got plus twos all the way across and plus three to shooting. 90 pace, 90 dribbling is a pretty solid card. I think he's overpriced. I'm going to keep it a buck 50 with you right now. Yes, he's got great play styles. He does not have a play style plus, but 206,000 coins. I do. I don't really think this guy, unless there's a, so much hype for him that I'm unaware of. I'm sure it's a really good card in game, and he's got a lot of hype for being very, very um, incredible right now in real life. These pa the past year, basically, uh, a lot of hype for him for sure, especially for Brighton in general. And he's got good links, Joao Pedro. He's got a lot of stuff on his side, but this card was like 180,000 coins after he was dropped into packs, and he's been slowly climbing since then. He could go up a little bit further this morning, but if I had this card, guys, I would probably not hold on to it for too long. It'll probably drop towards the end of the week, Wednesday, Thursday, as we head in towards Friday and a new promo team and stuff like that, and more supply throughout the week. So I'd be very, very careful with a card like this, but he was one of the mini-release cards that was dropped yesterday as were Dante Gaia. Gaia might be one of the most usable lower tier cards in this promo team, but Dante Gaia Matoma, and who's the last one? I forget who. Oh, Henderson, 11,000 coins. I'm noticing that in this promo team, we have like six or seven discard players already, which whenever I see a promo team with a lot of discard items in it, it makes me want to club stock them, or at least one of each in the club. At some point this week, I would go ahead and do that, especially on this guy. This is an absolute mad lad of a card. Uh, 81 defense, 85. He's the best left back in the MLS by far. And if we continue to get MLS cards dropped in promos, we have two in this promo team, uh, Wagner and Acosta. So I would definitely drop him, him in the club. I drop Acosta in the club as well. Five, this guy cooked me in weekend league. He's got links to Messi as well because he's Argentinian in uh, the MLS. And he's five-star skills. So don't overlook that card. He's pretty good. Stock one of those in the club. Stock a Garassi in the club. And maybe a Henderson and a Car Carolyn Nikolai as well. Put one or two of those in the club and just say, especially if you're over like 150K, that's something. It's almost like an in-form investment where... EA maybe does not require those cards in an SBC to make them go up, but what you could see is just those players like Wagner are one of the best left backs in the MLS. Or um, let's say let's say Dante goes to discard. That's a Brazilian center back at a discard price with a dynamic image. Uh, Carolyn Nicoli, an NWSL Brazilian as well with uh, 87 pace. Not a bad card by any means. So probably a good shot to stock a couple of these at discard. At least put one in your club. And that would be very, very smart. Now, let's look forward into today on Monday. 
first of all, how's the market going to act today, guys? Because you see me with like zero coins, like Nate, did you buy some stuff? I did, right? I did buy a couple things. I still have got them, the road of the knockouts that we're invested in. I picked up some golds. I picked up some golds because I think today after weekly rewards get paid out, people are going to be going out to the market and buying cards to link with the SBCs that they have completed. And, um, you know, I just think that the market is really, really healthy at the moment. And I think that that's just not going to stop today because also Mondays are pretty dead days for content anyway. And we know that weekend league rewards are the best rewards out there. So I've been looking at some gold cards. I picked up a couple of Tamoris. I'm just trying to look for cards that usually move each and every week. Tamori is one that like he was 64K yesterday and he was down to like, I think I bought two of them at like 58,000 coins with good chem styles, right? Like if I wasn't going to go buy a Varan to play a couple games a week in league really quick, um, I would be buying 55K. That's pretty, that's a really good price. But if you're buying any cards early today on Monday, make sure you get good chem styles on these cards and think about which players move each and every week. You can go back. This is what I love to do, right? For, for Tamori. I went back on Tamori's graph and was like, hmm, is this a card that moves each and every week? You can go 14 days hourly. I can go back here to Sunday, right? Sunday night, he got low. Kind of where we are right now. This is last week, though. He was 64K. Monday, weekly rewards came. Boom. Straight up to 70,000 coins from 64K. I like seeing movements like that. I also like seeing movements like yesterday, or two days ago on Saturday, he went from 59K up to 65K on a Saturday morning. Yesterday on Sunday, he didn't go up as much, but from 56 to 64, I mean, that's not a bad rise in a day. So that's a card that I'm looking at today. And I would just say, Premier League and La Liga is just very hyped at the moment, but like Tamori from the Serie A with the English links, maybe for Declan Rice, people have Leao on their team. They need some English links to get Declan Rice in. So they use Tamori with uh, him being one of the best center backs in Syria. Anyway, that's the type of stuff I'm looking for. Meta gold today, I do think will rise up a good amount. Now, the thing is, remember last Monday, guys, we did have good content. We had a couple SBCs, upgrade SBCs that were released, the 80 plus and the 84 times two. The 84 times two wasn't the best of value, but the 80 plus was pretty good. I think today on Monday, it's going to be a pretty quiet day. Once again, I think it just might be a day for upgrade packs. And because of that, I know we have the team elite upgrade, but I'm talking like either a 78 plus double, maybe the first player picks of the year could be like a 75. I don't know what rating they did for player picks last year, the very first week. I don't know if it was 75 plus 78 plus, but if they drop any sort of decent value upgrade pack today with all of the SBCs that are available right now, like, man, I need fodder. I do need fodder. I know you guys feel the same way. So if I were you, maybe you stock a couple cards in the club. By the way, go and pick up some non-rare golds at 300 to 350 on bid, and you can probably end up either selling them for for like 500 to 550 for lazy sales during this next week, or you can use them in upgrade pack SBCs if they require the gold commons. You can maybe stock some rares as well if you want to do that. But that's the piece of content I would be expecting today. But if, in all honesty, other than that, I mean, I know we have a Blanc SBC that is leaked, but. I think it's going to be a quiet day of content today, guys. And that's why if you're buying stuff early today, if you're buying stuff around the rewards time frame, looking for a rise, kind of like what I've done here with a couple of the Tamoris, right? Yeah, 58K is what I paid for. 57 with no chem style, 58 with a chem style there. I'm, I might hold these until after content today. I really might because last week, that was actually the trend. Since the content was kind of mid, you actually saw prices go up even further after the content dropped because there was so much demand for teams. People had newfound coins from the weekend league rewards. And so what I would tell you to do is, excuse me, um, is to watch for those today and watch for potential movements where you could actually hold after content and uh, not have to even sell pre-content. Well, selling pre-content is always the safe play. And if you do want to do it safe, that is what you could do. I'm going to pick up a Rafael Veron right now so I can go play some weekend league games and finish off some games there. But I think it's going to be a quiet Monday today. Ooh, 85K of the shadow. All right, sign me up. Let's go. Let's go get some W's in weekend league. The only thing I would say is maybe a watch for today is keep an eye on evolutions. I know you're like, Nate, whoa, whoa. We get evolutions last Wednesday. Are they going to drop it on a Monday? I'm just saying, EA did mention that multiple evolutions were going to be dropping during this promo. I don't know what days are going to be evolution days, if it's going to be consistent, if it's going to be random. 
But keep an eye on evolutions today, maybe later on this week. So watch out for that. We are going to get some more, especially it sounds like evolutions for cards we've already evolved, which sounds sick. And I'm absolutely down for that. So watch Evos today. And uh, again, we do have the Blanc SBC that is leaked. Maybe it would come today. Not entirely 100% expecting it. We've had player SBCs for the last three days. They might take a day off today. And then we shout out every day. But the challenge SBCs, guys, we've only had one challenge so far. If they only do one challenge, I'd be very surprised. I think there are more upcoming. So we're watching out for that tradable supply that could move a couple prices here or there, cause a slight dip, but then actually make prices potentially go even higher afterwards as people get more coins and cards um, to go buy. Other cards on the market from the coins they get from tradable SBC. So that's going to be the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you are new. I will see you guys at least in another video tomorrow, potentially a stream today. I'm a little bit under the weather, but we're going to try to make it happen today for a stream. So I'll see you guys in the stream today. Hopefully, it's been Nate the Photo Count. We'll catch you guys later. Peace out.